All right, so you should have your paper be vertical and then you want to choose an H or HB pencil. I'm using an H just because it's going to be um, less hard. So if you scrub it and then like blend it, it won't blend very much. But if you get I to find, okay, a 4B pencil, a B is going to be a lot darker and blend a lot more. So you want an H pencil so it blends less. That way you can put down just the bare bones. So you want to start with an oval about here on your page. So make a mark about, um, so you should have thirds. One, two, three. So about in the upper third category. So everyone should do a mark there. And then you want the person's chin about here. So we're gonna do a face. So you're just making a mark from the top of the head to the bottom. And then you connect it by doing your head like that. That is a super thin head, right? So let's make it a little, a little bigger. So that's why I'm using H, so if it's a bad head, you can just make it better. Make it darker because I'm pretty sure what it's supposed to look like now. And I'm making the chin more pointy and then the top of the head bigger for where the brain goes. So this bit, you can just erase. So what I did was I looked for a portrait that looked like someone deciding on something. So she has a very intense face. This is Emma Watson, an actress. And so I want to draw her on here as deciding between which plant she wants or if she wants the both. So I'm kind of just marking everything out right now. I'm marking her eyes, the width between each of them measuring so I've started to get all the formation but I realized like her chin is huge here and she has a really little chin so I'm going to start at the jawline right here and you'll see it slants over so here we go see that slant and slant so slant chin slant and that goes up It's a very baby jaw. There we go. Kind of looks like more like a baby now, right? But then we'll add more to her brain. So now I'm going to do what's called a value sketch, where I take my lights and darks and I go off of that. So you'll see she has definitely a shadow right in the middle of her forehead. So I'm just going to outline that, and that's going to help me shade her later. Also, if you're having trouble and not sure where everything is, turn it upside down. This might seem counterintuitive to you, but it's actually going to help a lot. All right, now that you've structured everything how you like it and um, to the references best interest, you now want to start on the eyes. I like to start on the eyes because they're the window to the soul. 